This is a one of one Jeff Hamilton handmade leather jacket for Suge Knight in honor of Doggy That's Style hard. Snoop Dogg. That's hard. That's Jeff Hamilton, one of the greatest leather makers. He is the best at making these jackets, absolutely. Shout out to Jeff Hamilton. This is an original Suge jacket, bro. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man, mm -hmm. the detail's so crazy. Crazy. That is crazy. It's so yeah. hard. I'm from Long Beach, so I'm oh, going to speak go. on behalf of... There you go. On behalf of Long Beach. On behalf yeah. of Long Beach. We endorse this amazing, right? Fully. But the significance of this jacket represents their relationship. And there's no more iconic artifact than this jacket to represent that kind of tumultuous relationship. And there is no price tag for it. But it has been appraised between $200,000 and $250,000. Serious business, right? I want that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Another some story. First of all, do it has you I mean ever heard compared any type of DNA test weird Al Yankovic ever. Al Yankovic, you ever Al been compared to Al Yankovic? Al Yankovic? I haven't. We want to do something a little special because we have some gifts for you. We have gifts. This is this is something that we do to honor the most important hip-hop legends that this country has ever turned out. Which you are one of them. By the power vested in me, by the world's first hip-hop museum, the National Hip-Hop Museum, I honor you two chains with the award of induction. There you go. Uh, this is so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all man. Thank you, man. Y'all really? Well yeah, deserved. Man. Yes, yes. And you deserve it, brother. I'm the executive director. Come on now. The significance, man, the impact. What you've done for the culture? That's hard. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. It's more important to be recognized by your peers than it is by a bunch of old white guys that don't know anything about hip hop. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a shot was fired. But <laughs> all right. So we have to carry this yes. one in a specialized bulletproof briefcase because the insurance policy requires that it be protected at all times. The cherry on top. Yes. Very significant. The actual demo tape. Yeah, you need to get in on this one. From Fear of a Black Planet, Public Enemy. Public Enemy. From Green Street Recording Studio, where the album was actually recorded. That is a pre-album demo of full length. Yes. That cassette tape may not function, I'm sure, in the next five, 10 years. So the only way to allow it to live on is to digitize the audio. Digitalizing it. Digitize. Digitize, I said, di what did I say? Digitalize. Yeah. I probably that word up. I feel but like, are those the same word? Digitize or digitalize? Y'all look it up at home because, see, guess what? Are we hiring? Are we hiring? Are we hiring? <laughs> I'm definitely hot, but listen, y'all at home, y'all ain't, ain't doing nothing. I'm working. So look it up. Let me know. A lot of the times with, they would say the newer artists, they don't pay any homage. It's important that we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. I appreciate it. I think it. I think this is an exciting situation because the fact that I'm the beginning and you are truly the future and we're sitting here together, it's, it speaks volumes to the fact that you, you do recognize. And I feel that the evolution of our music is a great thing. And this right here lets it be known. Yeah, that was beautiful, man. I just figured I'd put that out. No, I appreciate it. So basically, don't throw away nothing. That's it. That's, 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 what, that's what I'm getting. That's the end from of the From this episode, yes. from, from most expensive. Yes, yes. When you're just keeping up all this stuff, it looks like, man, throw this stuff away. 20, 30 years later, it's like, man, where did you get that from? How did you find it? I'll give you this much for it. Mm -hmm. And for people that have a real hoarding problem, just look at it like this. You can start your own museum in 50 years. There you go.